Right guys, um, welcome to a video today, uh, back on Shrimpers TV, uh, one that no football fan wants to have to try and make and explain. Um, so, as you may have known, a couple of days ago, the EFL announced that the EFL uh, League 2 and League 1 seasons were curtailed and finished uh, on a points per game basis, uh, which saw Bolton Wanderers, Tranmere Rovers and South End United all relegated to the fourth tier of English football. Surprise, no. Um, I think since December it's sort of been obvious where we're going to go. Um, I don't think we had much chance of staying up. Um, I think the youth bloods came in after Christmas, done a fantastic job with what they had. I think Sol, with what he had and sort of the talent that he had to use, he'd done all he could. Um, potentially could be staying, could be departing, who knows. A couple of other departures on the way as well, potentially. Um, Charlie Kelman looks as though he may be going to Spurs for a six-figure sum. Stephen Humphreys looks like he may have signed to deal with another club verbally. And Nathan Ralph as well, uh, going to Swindon. But the likes of him, I think, are fairly replaceable. Obviously, we saw Tom Clifford coming at left back, absolutely outstanding uh, for some of them games, especially towards the run-in, towards the end of the season. Um, as for this season in general, it's been poor. I think we've not had many wins. I think the one standout one for me must be Lincoln at home. I thought it was an absolutely brilliant atmosphere. I think the roof really came off of Roots Hall. Um, when Pumano put that in the 90 plus sick for whatever it was, uh, absolutely mental uh, to to witness that as well, just behind the goal, uh, fantastic. Um, but yeah, as I said, uh, I feel bad for teams like Bolton and Tramir. Bolton obviously started the season on a minor 16 deduction. Um, no fault of their own, it was just their owners obviously, their financial situation. When they got new owners, they really started to pick up. There was a sense of euphoria um, around the club. Um, but, as like I said, the players, the fans, I think the club means everything to that city. And to see it sort of nearly go down the same path as Berry, which is obviously a sad thing we saw back in August, um, it, it was really, really low for football. Um, as for Tranmere as well, I think it's quite hard on them. I think they were only a few points, maybe even one point off with a game in hand of uh, staying up in the league. Uh, the likes of Wimbledon and MK Dons now staying in League One. Um, heading off now to, to League Two. Uh, obviously, we've got a few big rivals down there. We've obviously got your likes of your Leighton Orient and Colchester. Um, we've seen some fantastic games. Obviously, we saw Colchester. We've seen brilliant wins. I think we had a 3 0 win uh, at Rootsall uh, just a few years ago when we were in, when we were in League Two. And Leighton Orient as well. Uh, the Johnston Paid Trophy uh, semi final, second leg at Rootsall. Ben Reeves grabbing the winner there. It's just games like that that really bring memories, um, bring together the community as well. So. You've got to look at the positive of everything, and I think that's one of the main positives we'll take from going down to League 2. Obviously, the likes of Barrow, who could be coming up now uh, into to League 1, um, sorry, League 2. And uh, obviously, other teams coming down with us. We never really got to see Bolton at Roots Hall, so it'd be good to have them back with us. Uh, we've had a great five years in League 1. Obviously, the way that we came back up uh, through Joe Pigger and Dan Bentley's heroics. I think to see that work undone is sad, it's sad for the club, but I think it's no surprise and it's no fault of their, the players, it's uh, no fault of our own. Um, I think there's not much we could have done, our financial situation. I've had a lot of people ask me as well, um, the minus three points deduction and the £7,500 fine that we were given uh, by HMRC, or, or sorry, the, uh, the EFL. We've had a number of uh, things going on within the club and the backroom staff and that's one of them. Uh, so I'm not sure as of yet whether them three points were taken off of the points per game basis this season or if it is going into the next so we could start in the relegation zone obviously on the minus three points. Um, as for League 2, I think it's probably one of the hardest leagues uh, in English football. I think often uh, the National League is deemed as the hardest but when you get to uh, full league and not non-league uh, I think it is really hard to sort of bounce back up. Um, we saw Plymouth do it, congratulations to them going back up to, to League One. But I think League Two especially, we, we've had many years down there. Uh, I think we spent uh, almost best part of, sort of seven years uh, in there and uh, had some fantastic ma matches, fantastic managers who helped us up, Paul Sturrock, Phil Brown, and obviously looking for a new one probably now to step into their shoes, potentially Sol Campbell, potentially someone else, maybe even a return on the cards for Phil Brown again, who knows. Uh, but for me, I think we haven't done well enough this season to sort of vouch staying in League One. Um, I thought there's been some high points, like I said, the Lincoln games, um, 
Wimbledon as well. I'm pretty sure it was Charlie Kelman grabbing the equaliser from the penalty spot uh, in the in the knock-ins of that game, and I think that was absolutely brilliant uh, for the club as well to have memories like that of a season. Um, but for personally for the channel as well, um, back in August, I think it was August the first, August the second, we released our first video um, of the EFL Quest launch. Uh, thanks to you guys on the Blues fans the Instagram page, um, we sort of had we sort of took off from there. Um, a lot of people really wanted to see that. They wanted to see some different content. So I thought I'd bring it over to YouTube and see how it done. It was only a, t a temporary thing at the mo at the time. And you lot seemed to love it, to be fair. Um, the reaction I had was superb. And to even get the opportunity to go to that was uh, down to you guys and the confidence uh, to to speak to other content creators who really inspired me to be where I am today. Obviously, the likes of Fogden, Match Day with Max, um, Max LCFC as well. We obviously saw him in the Lincoln video. Um, who wasn't optimistic at that game was obviously right um, when he said that we'd beat them. Um, but yeah, the the likes of them, obviously Fogden, will be with us next season. Um, stay tuned on the channel there because it uh, could be a surprise in the next few weeks. Uh, but hopefully soon we get to uh, meet some new people, get some new collaborations, etc. But um, I do think that for the, this season, for the for our social blade, I think it, it's been absolutely outstanding. I cannot thank you all enough. Obviously, back in August as well, uh, the press box experience, I managed to get behind the scenes and show you guys around sort of the stadium and what it's like to be in the press room after for the interviews. Um, like I said, it's been, been a dream come true, really. Uh, I think it sort of hit after our Accrington Stanley or Ipswich video that this, this could go somewhere. Um, you guys have seemed to love the way that we interact with fans. We'll see the new Shrimpers Talks videos coming up uh, in the future and the ones in the past. Getting your questions in for the likes of Ben Coker, Simon Cox. Um, the, re the response on them have been absolutely brilliant as well. Thank you for that. There will be a few more coming in the future, hopefully. Not long now. But uh, but yeah, I think even down to the ITV. Uh, being Appearing on ITV twice, we were approached by ITV Anglia News. I, it was sort of surreal, really, um, to have that opportunity to to have someone come to me and ask me to be put in that position. It was unreal, I think. Especially, uh, we're going to be working closely now. Um, you may have seen us share around the Run Free podcast. I'm delighted to be working alongside um, Chris and Eddie, uh, who I'll leave a link to their socials in the description. Fantastic guys. Um, you may already know Chris through uh, the chief editor of the Echo News sports section. Um, always there at match days at Roots Hall. Brilliant to be working alongside them to just be offering support. And thanks to them. Um, obviously, at the moment, sort of like a, a sponsorship. Uh, in a way, uh, they've provided us with some new equipment. So thank you very much to them. Uh, be sure to check out the first episode of that podcast when it arrives. But yeah, I think it's all down to you guys thank you so so much for the opportunities we've been given and hopefully we can deliver the same content uh, in League 2 that we have in League 1 and give you something to look at and sort of reminisce on the past few years and look back on the happier times of the club and uh, hopefully some new some new ones in the future um, like I said we will be continuing next season uh, hopefully trying to get some more away days in because you guys seem to love when we went to to commentary away or it was in fact Birmingham, St Andrews. You guys seem to really, really enjoy that. So hopefully we can try and bring you some more, especially if Colchester stay uh, in League 2. So fingers crossed that 18th of June, Exeter, put them to the sword early on. Uh, I, hope, I think a lot of Blues fans will be hoping that they stay down so we uh, there's a, prove there's still one team in Essex. But yeah, like I said, thank you so much for the support. Uh, League 1, it's been a pleasure. Uh, five years of fantastic memories last season. 3 will come back live on Sky Sports to 3 all from Simon Cox hat trick. Stephen Humphreys, that last gasp uh, winner, sorry, to keep us in the league. All undone now, but it's given us some memory, it's given us something to look back on. But like I said, completely out of our hands, out of the players' hands. I think it was inevitable that we were going to be in the situation that we're in at the moment. So, yeah, thank you for your support over the last year, and we'll. Uh, continue to bring shrimpers talks and vlogs etc to the channel to provide you entertainment please share with all your friends um, trying to hit that 500 subscriber goal before the end of the year and maybe even before September who knows uh, the way this is growing rapidly is astounding me really but yeah uh, be sure to like subscribe share with your friends and uh, we'll see you all in League 2 
Thank you. Kanye Blues.